Good day everyone, welcome back to Islay Batan. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to turn your graphics from vanilla to manila. All of the mods that I'm going to be showing you today are listed in the description box below. Make sure all of the mods are enabled in the content manager. It's also a great habit to create a backup for your save game before installing any mods. That way you have something to come back to if you run into any errors. And before anything else, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Step number one is to find a map theme of your choice in the Steam Workshop. The map theme changes the general appearance of the environment like the grass, gravel, pavement, cliff, sand, and water texture. Just keep in mind the map theme I'm using might not be suitable for what you're going for, but there are many beautiful map themes in the workshop you can choose from that may look good on your city, so you're just gonna have to experiment with them. The first mod we're gonna talk about is the Environment Changer by Bloody Penguin. You can totally skip this mod if you're starting a brand new city. The game will not let you change the map theme once you've already started your city, unless you have this mod. Go to this drop down menu and pick the map theme you've downloaded before loading your save. Once you've loaded the game with all the graphics mods installed, this is what it's going to look like with the default settings. The post after dark update made the sun tint look very warm and yellow. To fix that, we're gonna need the Daylight Classic mod. Check these boxes and this will set your sun tint to pre after dark color, which is a lot more neutral. Next up is the Relight mod by Ronix69. One of the things this mod will allow you to do is to change the lookup table or LUT. LUT is basically a filter just like what you use on your Tinder profile. The Relight mod already comes with 7 profiles, so just pick one that best match your personality. We can delve deeper into Relight settings by pressing the hotkey which is Shift Alt L. Here you can also adjust the brightness, contrast, the sun and the sky tint, and I don't really mess with the night settings since I don't play in nighttime mode. Next up is the ultimate eye candy mod by Judas. The hotkey for this is Shift U. On this tab, you can change the LUT without going to the main menu. This tab will let you change the weather and the fog settings. The ambient tab is what you're going to use the most. Here you can change the time of the day and the speed of the day. I'll just leave this one on pause while working on my city. The longitude and the latitude will allow you to change the position of the sun. And then the last two sliders will let you change the brightness according to your liking, just like in real light mod. Once you are happy, you can save the setting as a preset. So the next time you load the game, you can load the preset over here, which also includes the LUT that you used. Now you can see how a couple of graphics mods could drastically change the look of the game, but there's still a lot room for improvement, and we could push the graphics a little bit harder. Next up is another mod by Ronix69 called the Shadow Strength Adjuster. This will allow you to change the strength of the shadows cast by the objects. Now before we go to our next two mods, let's go to Options and Graphics Settings. Turn off VSync, disable Anti-Aliasing, and hit Apply. The next mod we're going to talk about is the Post Process Effects by Mask. The hotkey for this is F9. Here you can enable the bloom effect. The higher you go, the blurry it gets. It creates kind of a dreamy look. It's kind of cool if that's what you're going for. Like you just came out of the house for the first time after being high as a kite. You can also enable the lens flare. You can set this however you want. There's really no right or wrong answer for this one. The AA tab is for anti-aliasing. Aliasing is basically the jagged lines that you see here, especially when it's diagonal like these. So let's put this in SMAA Ultra mode and you'll see some of the jagged lines disappear. The SSAO stands for Screen Space Ambient Occlusion. 
Some computer genius came up with that name back in 2007, trying to confuse us here in 2021. But for us mere mortals, it's just shadows under the objects. Let me zoom in to show you what it does. As I move the radio slider to the right, watch the shadows under the van. Be very careful with the setting because if you put too much, it's gonna create a void just like this. So all you want to do is create a little bit of depth and not a black hole. Make sure you check the enable down sampling so it won't affect your uh, computer's performance as much. The next mod is Dynamic Resolution by Gradius Twin. This mod will allow you to render to a higher resolution than the native resolution of the game. This mod is totally dependent on what kind of graphics card you are using, so be careful in using this one. First, let's go to Options and find Dynamic Resolution Mod. This drop-down menu lets you unlock the maximum value you can set your resolution. Now press F10 to access the Dynamic Resolution settings. Use this slider for upscaling or downscaling. I'm currently using RTX 2070. Anything above 500% makes my game unstable and even crash sometimes. 200% is the sweet spot for me while maintaining a high frame rate. So use this one at your own risk, save your game before applying the settings. If your game crashes, make sure to go back to the options and resetting the mod to default settings before starting the game. And you should be back in business. Last but not the least, we need to change the sky. So let's grab Cube Map Replacer by Bloody Penguin and HDRI Haven Cube Map Pack by Ronix69. So let's go back to options and find the Cube Map Replacer mod. Pick a cube map from this drop down menu. You can see here that nothing happened. That's because we'll need to go back to Daylight Classic mod and check these boxes over here. Now we have some pretty amazing sky in the background. If you see this line in the horizon, go back to cube map replacer mod and uncheck the minimize horizon. And there you go guys, I hope you got something out of this tutorial. Check out my East Live Vatan series for more tips and tricks on how to add some realism to your city. Don't forget to leave a comment below, subscribe now and smash that like button. Otherwise, mabuhay and see you next time.